joining us for another exciting episode of Live at Recreate, recorded live here on tape in front of a studio audience at Recreate Arts Initiative in downtown Lebanon, PA. Tonight we are featuring Dr. M and the Rhythm Bots, Lebanon's own, next to County Pat. Well, they're going to do a little improv dance for us tonight. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a little music, then we're going to stop and have a little interview, and then we'll wrap it up with a little more music. So without further ado, please welcome Dr. M and the Rhythm Bots.
time in our show where we sit down with our performers and get to know them a little bit better. We're sitting here with Dr. M and the Rhythm Bots. They are Bob Belgenti on drums, Mike Garisi on bass, and Justin Morrell on guitar. So, thanks for coming out tonight, guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Appreciate being here. Uh, so let's get started here. First question I have is, when did you guys uh, start playing together, and when did you start playing individually? I think we started two years ago. Is it two years? Year yeah, and a half? Getting close, I think. Yeah. yeah, somewhere around there. Maybe in the summer it'll be two years. I think it was the first time we played together here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. The first time ever? The first yeah. time. I have no idea. Yes. You fooled me. Have you been playing music your whole life? Yes, yeah. I was born. <laughs> yes, my whole life. <laughs> How about you, Justin? Uh, no, I started. I started taking lessons as a uh, on the guitar when I was about nine. But um, I come from a family of guitar players, so I had guitars around the house when I was a pretty little kid. So I messed around a little bit. It didn't sound that good though. Takes practice, right? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, a lot years of it. and years. Yeah, well, I've been going at it for 37, 38 years, something like that now, so I'm still working on it. Mm -hmm. Well, your career, your official day job is music related, is that true? Yeah, I teach music during the day. Yeah. At Lebanon Valley College? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. And I think Bob also teaches at Lebanon Valley College. Is that right, Bob? Yes, but not music. Because I would be fired quickly. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? When did you really start playing? Five. Yeah. Five. Yes. I wanted to be a cowboy. Because cowboys had guitars. Wow. Can we carry a piano? Yeah, so uh, what kind of influences do you guys pull from? I mean, do you all sort of have the same kind of influences, or do you each have your own kind of thing that you bring to the team? It's really in the moment. In the moment. Oh, it is in the moment. I mean, as a, as a band, I think we we just got together and started playing whatever. I mean, I think you know there are like a few songs that we played together that we got to know, so that we would have things that we could call and say, let's try this or let's try that. But otherwise, mostly we just. I mean, we literally had not played together until we got on stage, so we just wow. made it up from there just, just to see where we could go with it. And we're still kind of doing that too. You still take turns, kind of deciding who sets the tone of a song, or yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. Don't be, yes. Yeah, sometimes I fear that you know I'll might start a beat and I'll have an idea in my head and it is completely different than the idea they have from uh -huh. that beat. So yeah, it goes it goes places, but usually it seems like we stare at each other for a couple <laughs> seconds <laughs> in between, and it's like, well, who's going to do something? And then the first person <laughs> yeah. that starts playing, we just go with that. Excellent. All right. So, so no one particular influences you draw from individually. Uh, individually? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we certainly. Yeah. I like I like robot noises a lot. Huh? Uh, and, uh, engine noises. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm joking? What was the last one? Engine noises. <laughs> engine noises. Yeah. yeah. I thought you said gin noises. No. Or gym noises. <laughs> Definitely not gym noise. Yeah, the squeaking sneakers would not be pleasant. <laughs> I think it seems like actually we come from pretty varied backgrounds musically. I think. I mean, because I I grew up mostly playing jazz, you know. So, and this is I mean, there's some jazz in what we do, but I wouldn't really call it jazz exactly. But, so, how I mean, would you categorize your improv? I don't sound? know, cause I don't know, cause it changes so frequently. You know, I mean, it's definitely groove based mostly. So I would say sort of group-based improv or something like that. Yeah. Well, you definitely bring out some new sounds for me. I feel like there's some definite outside jazz things going on. Like chords I never heard before. Yeah, well, I, tr I mean, <laughs> but I like that's, it. that's part of the vocabulary, so I try to bring that into it because that's kind of what comes to mind when I play. And I, and I like to, when we're playing together, I like to try to push things outside of what we've done before. So sometimes I'll deliberately just play something totally different than maybe what you might expect in the hopes that it takes us to a different world or something like that. Yeah. So it's sometimes it works and sometimes not, but you know, you kinda of have to do it in order to go someplace new. Do you guys rehearse? 
<laughs> we just did. <laughs> like half an hour ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, so we're 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 just practice the listening to for the next set. Yeah. <laughs> so there's truly no prep, really. No. When you guys no. get together, that's when no. you play. It, it would be a, yeah, that would be a good idea. Well, and there's there's something to be said, I think, when you, for improvisatory music, for for reacting to having people in the room. You know, I think a lot of times if you rehearse stuff like this and you're by yourself, it's like, well, why are we why are we doing this? Like, what are we? Who are we playing for? We're, you know, playing for each other is not really. It seems like a nice. No offense, but no, you know, no. it's it's like if you're not playing for other people to hear it, then the improvisation stuff doesn't really go anywhere. So do you guys have any other projects? Any other groups that you work with? Yeah. Yeah. I think Just, these two yeah. guys, you're kind of the rhythm section for the Dennis Easter Trio. Dennis right? Easter Trio. Um, Which is, Dennis is a local Lebanon uh, musician as well, a guitarist. We used to back up Chaz DePaolo as well. Chaz, the big blues guy. Yeah, my main gig these days is composing. I don't, I don't really play that much anymore, so, so I do. My, my job at Lebanon Valley College is teaching composition primarily. So, you know, so I've got, I actually wrote a concerto um, that's being recorded in a couple of weeks in, in Miami. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I do when I'm not doing this. All right. Anything else you all would like to add that I forgot to mention? Thanks for having us, Candy. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for donating your time and your talent to our little webcast we do here and to recreate. So. Thanks for the audience being here. Yes, awesome. thank you, yes. everyone, for coming out. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let's get back into your smart music from uh, Dr. M and the Rhythm Box. Right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you. you. Once again, Dr. M and the Rhythm Box.
Thank mm-hmm. you.